The UN administration says it is open to dialogue with the medical arena as long as practical proposals based on empirical evidence are offered to better prepare Korea's healthcare system for an aging society. Now, senior doctors for their part claim Monday's public address by President Sogyal failed to resolve the current standoff and simply sought to reaffirm his stance. Our Che Suyang has the latest. Senior doctors have expressed disappointment with President Yoon's medical reform speech, saying they could not find any differences from previous announcements by the government. During a briefing on Monday, the Korean Medical Association stated that doctors were hoping that President Yoon was going to come up with some solutions. Countering the president's statement that there had been discussions with the medical community regarding the medical school enrollment quota expansion, the KMA emphasized that doctors' opinions have not been considered at all. Reduced working hours by medical professors at general hospitals have continued for a second day, but a significant reduction in medical services has not yet been seen. As of Monday, professors filling gaps left by trainee doctors due to a massive walkout seven weeks ago have begun shortening outpatient services and surgeries. Professors from 20 schools at 14 nationwide stated last Saturday that one day off will be mandatory after working continuously for 24 hours. They added that outpatient services and surgeries for severe and emergency patients will be scheduled based on this. The KMA also announced doctors who run private clinics will reduce their working hours for 40 hours per week. On Tuesday, the health ministry urged the medical community to withdraw their collective action and engage in dialogue with suggestions of reasonable measures. If you stop collective actions and propose unified, rational solutions within the medical community based on science and logic, the government is open to discussions. Please deliver your messages with rational measures prioritizing patient safety. While there haven't been significant changes since outpatient services and surgeries were reduced, eyes are now on whether they'll be reduced even further. Chesuhyang, Arirang News.